Hello, hello everyone. It's Amy here with Live Healthy, Be Happy, and I'm here today to talk about something really interesting, and I bet you're wondering what the title means. Hiding behind your computer. <laughs> well, I don't literally mean like hiding, like playing hide and seek with like, you know, your kids, although that would be fun too. It might cheer you up a bit, <laughs> laughing I know the other day. Um, we are playing hide and seek with the girls and <laughs> my oldest girl, she, my oldest daughter, she must be getting really, really good at hiding because literally we could not find her for the longest time. And I was like, okay, this is not very fun anymore. You're hiding. <laughs> but anyways, that's not the hiding we're talking about. What I'm talking about is, I'll tell you a bit, like before I had kids, um, I feel like there was a time before computers and social media, well it was, it was before we had phones, before we had, you know, like electronic device phones, iPads, pa tablets, all these things, right? So there was a different, it was a different time. And like with my parents and stuff, I remember too, what you do is you'd pick up the phone, right? Do you remember those times? <laughs> or even you know your device phone whatever kind of phone you have one that you actually talk with somebody you call them and drop by for coffee tea you know you you chat with those people through picking up a phone and if you're popping on live oh my phone is dying but if you're popping on live say hi I'd love to hear your comments so you pick up a phone and you chat with people. Now I remember after having my first baby and it was like several months later I remember having this moment of like like pick up the phone and call somebody and talk to them and like what are you doing hiding in your house or like avoiding all these things and it was, I was avoiding all these things that were just overwhelming, seeing people getting out there. It was just felt like too much to get out, right? So it's something to ask yourself is, are you hiding and only connecting with people online or through like texting or posting things or, or whatever? Like, is that kind of your way of avoiding that contact? Because that human face-to-face -face actually interaction is so important for us. It's so important for us to have that touch, that connection, that that warmth, that presence of those those people around us, and that is what's going to be healing and empowering for us as women, as mothers, as as human beings. Right? We all need that connection. We all need that comfort. Um, and just being in our homes and only seeing our children and only seeing what people are doing going on our when we're playing on our devices or whatever is is not enough we need to be out there interacting with people and connecting with people so even just picking up and hearing that voice that audio that that um that connection with a real live human being right so i remember that moment that aha moment of like hey you know you don't need to be messaging everybody um pick up the phone right it's very 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 important and I have to remind myself every now and then it's not it's not something that you know any of us I think are perfect at these days but it's a reminder for all of us no matter who we are that we should be it for our own needs I don't use the word should very much but because there's a need behind that right so it's like for our own needs to, for that human interaction we really should put an effort towards making that happen right um, so, you know, making an effort to getting out to groups rather than hiding and doing that socializing with moms in groups on Facebook. Yeah, groups on Facebook are great when you can't get out, when there's, there's other barriers to getting out and you need to ask those questions to have that quick chat. You know, in the middle of the night when you're, you're awake late, you know, nursing your child, having a you know, colicky baby, whatever, right? Whatever's going on in your life and you need, those groups are great. But during the day when there's other human beings out and about, getting out to mom's groups are important. So are you, you know, ask yourself, are you hiding behind that device, that tablet, that computer and avoiding going to these things and doing that? 
are you comfortable just staying home? And is that your comfort zone in messaging, texting, posting on Facebook? Is it easier for you to be doing those things? Is that causing you to avoid having these real human interactions? Something to think about. Let me know in the comments if you're watching the replay. I'd love to hear your feedback. I always love hearing your feedback, guys, and I always love knowing what's going on and if this makes sense to you. Like, I don't know. <laughs> um, so let me know if it makes sense. Even just, you know, a little post saying that you're watching the replay, that you it makes sense. If you're joining me live, let me know if this is making sense to you. So what we're talking about is, you know, getting out of that comfort zone, avoiding the things that you so you may be avoiding those things that you are um, <laughs> excuse me that are that would increase your human interaction where you are connecting with other people so ask yourself what are you avoiding are you avoiding that connection are you avoiding that human interaction because it's easier for you to stay at home and just text and just you know even picking up the phone is that something you're avoiding doing is that a, a difficult task to actually call somebody so ask yourself those questions and then what I encourage you to do is today today there's lots of time today I know for everybody um, unless you're watching the replay and it's like you know, really late at night, maybe push it to tomorrow, but if there should be lots of time left in today's day, um, hopefully, and then what you can do is call somebody. I encourage you to pick up the actual phone and call somebody. Who can you call and talk to, right? That's gonna make a big difference in your world is just calling somebody. Who do you love and care about, or you know that loves and care about you enough to talk to, to have that conver that conversation that we all crave and need as human beings, right? Um, I also encourage you to think about what mom and tots group, what parenting baby new moms group can you attend? Can you seek out a group and just get out of your comfort zone and go and do that? Let me know. Do you have groups that you go to on a regular basis or not? Are you avoiding those things? Let me know. Um, are you able to set up a play date with another mom or a friend or a neighbor or even a new mom that you maybe just met or that you know is kind of down the road from you and you haven't introduced yourself to? Can you say, hey, you know, do you want to go to the, you could go to a park or a coffee shop or, you know, somewhere where it's a neutral ground if it's somebody you've never met. Can you do those things? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if that's something you can do to step out of your comfort zone to stop hiding behind your device, your tablet, your computer, if you may be doing that, right? Let me know if that makes sense. And those are my tips today is just to encourage you to do those things, to pick up the phone, to get out of your comfort zone, to do these things that you may be avoiding. Because I know what it's like to be avoiding those things and it's not very, very helpful. And I know it was always helpful for me to have somebody else call me and say, hey, let's go do stuff. Let's get out of our house. Like, And I had to make an effort in my head to be like, okay, this is a sign that I need to be listening to them. I need to be going out and doing this sort of stuff, right? So can you make that switch so that when somebody does call you and encourages you to come out, can you be like, yeah, let's do this. Or remind your friends or family that's asking you, maybe right now is not a good time, but please, please make an effort of calling me next time because I need to get out or can you call me tomorrow at this time and make a point make a structured plan so that it's gonna happen and make it happen right all right ladies that's all I have for you today but let me know in the comments let me know your feedback I'd love to hear it talk to you soon bye bye